Hi, my name is Alex Redding. Um, I head up the, uh, the hydro side of the business. We're at the intake. Um, this is a secondary intake on one of the three powerhouses within this particular project. This wider project consists of three run of river hydro projects. We're in a very remote lo location in Scotland, so we've got quite a lot of infrastructure. Uh, and we've gone for three projects on the larger side of, of what has been built over the last 10 years um, at 2 megawatts, 2 megawatts on 1.8, so 5.8 megawatts in total. Um, and we've, we've done that because of where we are. We've had to have extra infrastructure in the form of roads, and we've had uh, uh, some large costs in the form of grid connection. But by, by doing a holistic approach with three projects, we can afford that as part of the wider project. Where we are at the moment, as I said, we're at the secondary intake of one hydropower project. This is the furthest away from the point of connection. Um, we're about 175 metres above the powerhouse here, with about three kilometres of pipeline between here and the powerhouse. If we go down to the next hydro project, um, that one is a two megawatt project, and it's on the, the north side of the glen. And then we go right to the bottom of the glen, um, and our third project is um, connected by a submarine cable on the north side of the other lock and, and that is another 2 megawatt project, so 5.8 megawatts in total. The, the fundamentals of hydropower in this scenario in a run of river hydro scheme is that we have a body of water um, up in a river uh, about two kilometres above uh, where we are here and it's about 175 metres of height. Um, that water is taken from the river um, and essentially goes through a penstock or pipeline, um, in this case as I say two kilometres long underground and that comes down the hill under pressure and comes into the back of the turbine house here. It's then going through the turbine system here, turning it a water wheel, in this case a Pelton wheel fueled by six jets, and that turns the generator uh, and the generator creates electricity and that is taken out through the switch gear in the corner there and out onto the, onto the, onto the grid, onto the network. So at this phase of the construction process we are um, we're commissioning um, within the next couple of weeks so we're getting to that point where technically everything is complete and we're going through what we call the restoration phase and and we are we are judged by the restoration phase um, in terms of that is how well we put the landscape back together uh, and we, we go into a huge amount of detail with the consultees but at this point we are relying on local contractors, people who work in the hills, people who work in these remote locations, real specialists in terms of, you know, these guys are, are operating excavators in very remote locations, but they live here as well and they take pride in what they're doing. And within the next two, three, four years, um, we should see this blending back into the landscape, which is, which is the ideal scenario. Come back here in five years and, and hopefully this will have blended in perfectly.